Then let's continue with kind of my favorite part today. So uh, you've seen the news before. There is a kernel type on h5p.com, which is called the chase. And I'm aware that many can't use h5p.com because um, it's kind of exclusive. So you have to pay for it to use it. But uh, maybe it's still you want to know, okay, what is this content type about? So we all use it now. And um, I hope you're prepared to uh, to join a little game that we'll play. So uh, I will go to, um, uh, first of all, I'll close that. And I'll go to h5e.com. This is uh, my account there. You see all kinds of stuff. And uh, I have one here, which is an h5e quiz. And it is called The Chase. So, and uh, I'll open it now. And uh, what you'll see now, <clears throat> uh, maybe let's go to full screen. So what you see now is um, basically the chase and it should be online. Let me check quickly. So uh, let me check myself. So you can go to go.hfe.com and then type in that game code. Uh, let's do, uh, let me check that on my other screen maybe. And if I type in that code for nine one nine eight four five, I should see that content. And I do; it is active. So, uh, so you can go there. And of course, I, I could also, as as always, I could share um, that link. I'll share that link on the chat as well, so you can use that if you prefer. And you can go there directly. And I'll go to full screen again. So um, feel free to go to h5 to to go.h5v.com and enter that game code four nine one nine eight four five or uh, click on that link that I um, that I just shared. And I can already see, so you can see it as well. There, one person has actually joined. So I'll wait until there are at least two, because otherwise it would be a boring game. Don't be shy. It's anonymous, not collecting any. Yeah, there's person number two. And I'll just keep on talking a little bit. So um, what I can do here as kind of the host, I could set, so I can say this could be, you could do this quiz that is about to start uh, forever. And I just uh, stop it at some point and I can still do that. But I'll give you just two minutes for now. And I say full screen uh, mode, which is kind of convenient for you. And um, we have two persons. Let's just wait. Don't don't be shy. Go to go.hrv.com, enter that game card or for the link, and then we can have a little game. Now, this is strange. People always want to have interaction, then they don't interact. <laughs> okay. Um, so on the other hand, what, what you would see now, if you if you don't join, you would now see a screen where you can choose an avatar, like and uh, like a, a, a picture for yourself. And you could enter your name. It could be any name, of course. And uh, I will start the game in just one second. Then you will have two minutes to complete it. Just some heads up information. It is a quiz about H5P. So there are, um, I'm not completely sure, like eight or seven different questions or like contents, H5P contents with questions that you can answer. So it's kind of like a test and you can, uh, you can, browse um you can go to the next question and go back so um you don't have to to answer one and then you can go back you can just check okay i i know the answer for this one and I'll answer this first just like you would in an ex in an exam for example so you can do that but once you click on an answer you cannot i, I deactivated that um if you have given an answer um it is, not, you, you still can change it, but then it's really logged in, kind of. So I can already see um, who answered that question, at least. So, but, but we'll just see that in a second. So the important part is um, you will not get immediate feedback. Oh, I, four people now. Okay. Uh, um, just choose your avatar and, and the name. And uh, so you can go back and forth. Doesn't matter. You can change your answers later on for two minutes. Um, but you won't get feedback immediately, so you, I deactivated that. So um, I could have left the check button and you could get feedback immediately, but not retry. And But you will not know uh, what is correct until I finish, uh, until I end this quiz. So 
Four people have joined. That is great. I hope you have chosen your avatar. If not, that's not important. I hope you have given yourself a name. I'm, I'm not sure what happens if you don't choose a name. Maybe you're then unnamed. I don't, I don't know. I guess so. So I'll start. Um, the two minutes now. Uh, no, I start the game now. And you have two minutes time to complete all the questions. Uh, might be tough, but just choose what you uh, can answer first, maybe. So let's go. And I'll switch to this one here. So... So I now see Petsy has joined too slow, too... Uh, this, okay, there's another competitor. And Gio, you have joined. And now I can see who answered how many questions. So I don't know which question. And I could... Actually, I could look at this score myself, but because I published this one, of course, I don't show to, to not spoil anything. But you can see who is quickest. So, uh, so I could see... Um, when everybody has finished, for example, I could stop the game because it doesn't make sense to continue, maybe. <clears throat> so, 40 seconds into the game, and this is cut off. So, okay, close call uh, <laughs> in regarding the completion of questions, but not necessarily having the correct answers. Okay, Patsy has also three questions completed now. She's a little behind, but uh, just take your time. It's not a race. You can see, I'm not complete. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure um, what happens if I click play. Will the music play on your device? I'll just click. I know it, it, it's playing on my end now, but I'm not sure if it's playing on your end. Maybe not. Okay, oh, well, that doesn't make sense. We just have four competitors. Okay, so, uh, stalled a little. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, now something is happening. You, have, you might have had a question with, or a page with many questions. Yeah. <clears throat> so, five more seconds. Okay, thumbs up. Let's have a look who's the winner. So, so you see, we have two people with two scores, two points, and one person with six points. So, that's interesting. So, and what I can do now as, uh, as uh, the host, I can give you some more options. So, first of all, uh, I can show the summary, of course. So, let's have a look at that. So, you shouldn't... Hmm. Oh yeah, I can I can see it here. So I have to switch as well. So you can now have two options. So now you also see uh, this one, and you can go check the summary. So here we can see how many uh, uh, how many people answered those this question and uh, what the answers were. So fifty two, um, three pe people, and uh, so one person chose forty one. Maybe just guessing. I don't know, but it's really fifty two. Um, so now, now of course, I as a host, I could see, okay, um, this probably was too easy. Mm, I don't have to explain why this is correct. <laughs> Basically, because you just had to count correctly. And But we, we can go down. So other questions. So I can really, I as a host, could now scroll down and see, okay, which might have been uh, complicated. So I'm not sure. Okay, one person, that's correct. I could maybe ask you. Um, did you know it? Did you count it? How did you come up with 18? So I, I, I think you were guessing maybe because uh, otherwise you might have <laughs> did correct the second time as well. I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh, Matt, it was you. <laughs> I meant, okay. Do, uh, yeah, okay. So uh, this particular, what, what you see now, son, of course, uh, you see the results from that uh, drag and drop question. This, this might have been easy uh, because Callum can take basically everything and everything is correct so uh, but yeah but this is how it works and um, yeah as a teacher I could now see okay which has been answered correctly and maybe incorrectly maybe not at all because of course two minutes were I, I know uh, <laughs> not enough time for everything um, yeah but I could now um, I could now explain things or let you explain why you gave the answer and uh, all that uh, stuff that you normally do with audience response systems so um, yeah, this is a chase. I'm not sure. So uh, we could, I could, of course, um, or not, of course, but I could now export the results for myself if I need them. 
Uh, I could reset the game if you want to play again and give it another shot. So <laughs> uh, or go back to the top. Yeah. Uh, but that is basically um, how this works. Maybe I can go back here. Yeah, that is the chase. And um, yeah, unfortunately, it's uh, only available for hfv.com where you have to pay, but I think it's pretty cool. And of course, I guess you will want to have a look at uh, the, the editor as well, because at least I would. So uh, let us have a look. So it will tell me, okay, now I'm about to edit it and all the answers will be lost. So um, you'll see that now session is active now, I guess. Yeah, but this is how it looks. So uh, basically you have the normal H5V editor for form that you know. So you can see, if you've seen the other end. So uh, we have had, we can, and we can have a look at that in just a second. So uh, we've had the text field here, which, which is my welcome message. And then I added this multiple choice question and yeah, it's really nothing, nothing too complicated. So you can put in all kinds of, and not all kinds of, of um, HIV content, but this is how it looks. And um, if we scroll down, maybe we can could add one more. I'm I'm a little sad that they didn't use this vertical tab thing uh, because it makes browsing this much easier. I think, but yeah, for some reason they didn't choose to use it. Um, yeah, here it is. So um, the, the, the thing is called pages. So I could now add another page at the end. And then, of course, uh, reshuffle it if I wanted to. And these are the options that we have for now. We can add text, an image, an accordion. I didn't use that one, but I could have. The image slider, you've seen that with the soothing images. You've seen the video, image hotspots, mobile choice, drag and drop, drag the words, fill in the blanks, mark the words, and true, false question. I don't know what was, um, yeah, what the foundation was, uh, or this. Um, uh, now, what, what the reasons are that those were chosen and no others? Don't ask me. Don't please ask HRF core team. Uh, yeah, but but still, this is. Um, I've I've heard from some people who who use Kahoot, and um, they said this is pretty cool because Kahoot basically, as far as I know, and they told me just has. Well, well, basically one question type. And um, yeah, you, you can, in, in theory, use all HRFE concepts. I guess these lists will be amended at some point. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, Matthias is just saying it. Like, who'd such activities quickly lose appeal with students? So no great deal. It is only available for commercial users. Yeah, but yeah, it uses appeal, but um, you can, it depends on how often you use it, of course. If you use it all the time, then it doesn't make sense. But I know that, it works with students. They get challenged and they sometimes like that. <clears throat> oh yeah, and the question is how easily can I embed existing content? Yeah, I can copy and paste it. So you see it here. Um, uh, if I had some content, let's say I had created uh, this question before, I could have copied it from um, my hfe.com repository and then I could just paste it. Yeah, that would work. So you wouldn't have to create everything from scratch. Yeah, and then down here we have some some extra options. So you can say, okay, this music is annoying anyway. Let's disable it. Um, there's some colors uh, themes that we could choose. Maybe purple is default, which is actually it is strange because if you use, I think Kahoot has also now also has a purple default theme, <laughs> and it really looks like Kahoot, and it's really like it, it's strange. So I chose blue. I like blue, but we can I don't know go for green if you prefer green. And uh, then we have some extra settings here. So I allowed you to go back and forth, but I could have disabled that. So um, then you, uh, when, when you have filled out everything, you will, um, um, and you go to, yeah, yeah. basically you, you couldn't go back. So um, <laughs> that is why you can, if I deactivate that, check this one. So you really have to confirm that you're done with that page because you can't go back. So might be different options. So I can have that as well. Let's see how that looks then. And then here, um, yeah. In this case, uh, I didn't give you a check button because um, I didn't want you to see the answers or the, uh, the solutions right away. So you can, uh, you could choose, but if you prefer, you can, can have that. So you could show the check buttons and it will be like normal HFE questions. And then you can decide, um, should the show solution button also be available? So um, yeah, I could enable that as well. I'm not sure if that is 
Um, I, I don't think then this content type doesn't make sense anymore, kind of, because really I think it is good to have the answer first and then let students maybe discuss why they chose this answer or they think this was correct and instead of just showing the solution. Otherwise, you don't have to do live. But yeah, for the sake of uh, showing everything, you can, can enable, enable that as well. And of course, you could... Um, you could not set this one, then you could choose this for every um, single content if you wanted to. So maybe you want to show the solution for some, then you choose it there. But let's just override this and enable it for all. Um, yeah, basically that is it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I can save that now. And of course now it's completely different. So uh, we, we can have a look at, here, at it here. So I, I will not start it. Uh, but I can, as a teacher, I could preview it. So um, let's say I give five minutes. Yeah, limited, uh, fine. Um, I could choose my avatar here. So I am Foo. And then I enter. And um, this is how it looked for you. So I, as a teacher, would start the game. <clears throat> and then you see, okay, now I have this check button. So um, uh, let's pick 51 and I click on check. And you see, okay, no, now we get the feedback. And you see this was not correct. And I could have a look at the solution. Um, so I now know, okay, this would have been correct. So um, I said I should confirm it, um, that I am done because otherwise I can submit it. And now I confirmed it. And now I submit it, and, but I, I really can't go back. So I've completely changed uh, the way it works. It doesn't make sense, but now you have seen all the options. Um, yeah, this is, and by the way, you, you didn't see that, but um, I had it that way. So I can always see as a teacher <coughs> uh, which person um, has completed how many questions. And I could also see this, the score. But um, if you, of course, uh, show that live, then it, yeah, it, it might might be okay. But um, yeah, I prefer to just show the questions. So, but you could see, okay, who has um, the most points. And yeah, I could I could have a look at the summary as well, which was live. It will be updated, so I could I could really see live uh, how many. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a use case for that. I, I think what, this would be information overload for a teacher, but uh, I could really see live which question has had how many <laughs> answers and what has what answer has been given. So yeah, that is um, that is the chase. I think it's it, it's pretty neat. Um, yeah, but I'm not a teacher, so I don't know if there is a use case for it. But how, how do you think it is? Do you like it? Matthias is the only one talking to me. <laughs> that is so sad. Ah, okay. Um, then let us go on. So um, the downside of this uh, is that this is only available for hrefe.com because... Oh, no. Now it's a question. Oh, no. A, co a comment. <clears throat> oh, no. It's gone. Okay. I have to wait longer. Um, I have a statement. It is interesting for online uh, classes to activate students. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, this is online, but you can, of course like any audience response system, you could do that in a, in a uh, live setting on uh, an on-site setting as well. So um, I, I know many people use these, um, in Germany we call them clickers. <laughs> uh, it's EduVote and um, what are all the others? Uh, Pingo, there, there are many tools that you can use to have like a multiple choice questions and see live feedback. And you could use this one now too. Oh, uh, somebody just asked, one thing I'm missing as a teacher, I need to know which question has what number to... S what, I need to know which question has what number to see how students are doing. I'm not sure if I understand that. Oh, you mean, mean by student? So I can have a, uh, the answers of one uh, individual student. Yeah, that is not possible right now. 
But is it? Do you really need that for like a competition to have a, to check one single student? I mean, in the end, if you export the results, you'll see it. I guess I'm not completely sure. I haven't. I haven't tried that. I know. We'll, maybe we can have do that now. Um, can we do that quickly? Start a game. No active players. No. Um, we'd have to redo that again. So maybe I can. I can check afterwards. Um, uh, no, I want to stop it. And the game. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you can see um, the individual answers. The, I'll check in the in the export until the next time. <laughs> um, yeah, and otherwise, um, what would happen? I'm not sure. Is this reported somewhere? I haven't checked, but I'll, I'll check how this report.